Hey there. What's the matter? You can't sleep? I have to turn all the lights just to see you like this. Just... Well, maybe I can read you some stories. It's early in the morning. So, I think that could calm your mind a little bit. What do you think? I really hope so because I'm just so tired and I'm tired of waking up early. Okay. Just oh, gotta find some stories to tell you. Okay, it's Christmas theme, so I'm gonna tell you some Christmas theme stories, okay? Okay, so we'll start with these books over here. Let's get you this one. Um it's one of the best that kind of help you relax. Okay? So just lie there all comfy. And I'll just read you a story and then you can close your eyes and probably the sounds of everything will, you know, let you rest. It's A Charlie Brown Christmas by Charles M. Scott. Okay? Okay. Well, I could show you the pictures, but you're gonna have to, you know, try to go back to bed because I don't want to be here all morning telling you stories, okay? So it opens up with the music from the channel. Look at me, the, the book, excuse me. I'm still really tired. Jingle bells. In the back, hark the herald angels sing. It's awesome, huh? Look at that. Okay. I'm gonna start with the first one. There's the title page. A movie came out of this, by the way, and I know that you know that. Just, uh, we can watch it later, and you'll see you'll have a lot of fun with it. says here Christmas time was here soft snowflakes floated down from the sky the sweet sound of carols filled the air and everyone felt happy well almost everyone here are all the characters and they're all having a really good time but let's see what happens with this little guy I think there must be something wrong with me, Linus, Charlie Brown told his friend. Christmas is coming, but I'm not happy. I just don't understand Christmas, I guess. I always end up feeling depressed. You're the only person I know who can take a wonderful season like Christmas and turn it into a problem, Linus replied. Maybe Lucy's right. All of the Charlie Brown in the world. You're the Charlie Brownest. Charlie Brown thought Linus might be onto something. He decided to go to Lucy's booth for some advice. Look at him. That is him and his best buddy. And they're trying to have a good time. At least he's there comforting him, right? Uh, ah, and here he goes. Let's see. So, five cents, please, Lucy greeted him. Charlie Brown dropped a nickel into Lucy's can. Lucy shook the can. I love hearing the beautiful sound of cold, hard cash. Now what seems to be in your trouble? I feel depressed. Charlie Brown told her. I think we'd better pinpoint your fears, said Lucy. If we can find out what you're afraid of, we can label it. Are you afraid of staircases? If you are, then you have climacophobia. Or maybe you have pantophobia. 
What's pantophobia? asked Charlie Brown. The fear of everything, Lucy replied. That's it, Charlie Brown cried out. He shouted so loudly that, that Lucy flew off her chair. Actually, Lucy, my trouble is Christmas, Charlie Brown admitted. I just don't understand it. Instead of feeling happy, I feel sort of let down. Look at her boot. She looks positively gorgeous. She is a psychiatric help of five cents. The doctor is real in. That's what that says there. Now. Lucy knew what would help. You need to get involved. How would you like to be the director of our Christmas play? Charlie Brown smiled. He and Lucy made plans to meet at the auditorium. As Lucy went off, Snoopy walked by, holding a box of lights and decorations. Charlie Brown followed him to his doghouse. What's going on here? Charlie Brown asked his dog. Snoopy handed him a piece of paper. Charlie Brown began to read out loud, Find the true meaning of Christmas. Win money, money, money. Spectacular, super colossal neighborhood Christmas lights in display contest. Charlie Brown looked up from the paper and groaned. My own dog. Gone commercial. I can't stand it. And look at him decorating the lights right there. He is not very happy about it, huh? You can just tell. Uh, uh -huh. Next, Charlie Brown ran into his sister Sally. I've been looking for you, big brother. Will you please write a letter to Santa Claus for me? Sally asked. Sally began telling Charlie Brown what she wanted him to write. Dear Santa Claus, how have you been? Did you have a nice summer? How's your wife? I have been extra good this year, so I have a long list of presents that I want. Please note the size and color of each item and send as many as possible. If it seems too complicated, make it easier on yourself. Just send money. How about tens and twenties? Tens and twenties? Charlie Brown cried. That didn't seem like the true Christmas spirit. Oh, he looks so mad. Look at that. <laughs> it's so funny. Let's see. Um, uh huh. So, we're going to that bar. So, at the auditorium, Lucy had an announcement. Quiet, everybody, quiet. A director will be here any minute. We'll start rehearsal. Director? What director? asked Patty. Charlie Brown, Lucy replied. Oh, no, we're doomed, said Violet. Here he comes, said Lucy. Attention, everyone. Charlie Brown addressed the cast, but no one listened to him. They were all dancing as... Schroeder played his piano. Stop the music, Charlie Brown shouted into his megaphone. We're going to do this play, and we're going to do this right. Lucy, get those costumes and scripts and pass them out. Oh, look at everyone dancing. It is that famous dance right there that we know so well. Let's see what we got. Lucy walked up to Frida and gave her a script and a costume. You're the innkeeper's wife. Did innkeeper's wives have naturally curly hair? Frida asked. Lucy walked over to Pigpen. You're the innkeeper. Pigpen looked proud. In spite of my outward appearance, I shall try to run a neat inn. 
Lucy went over to Snoopy. You'll have to be all the animals in our play, Lucy told him. Can you be a sheep? Bah, bleated Snoopy. How about a cow? asked Lucy. Moo, mooed Snoopy. How about a penguin? asked Lucy. Clack, clack, clack. Snoopy waddled around the stage. And look at them right there, see? He knows how to do everything in there. They looked, she looks really annoyed with her comments, doesn't she? I don't know why she looks angry. He did pretty good, if you ask me. Yeah. Let's see what happens in this page. Soon, all the parts have been handed out and it was time for Charlie Brown to direct. He asked Schroeder to set the mood for the first scene, but as soon as Schroeder started playing, everyone started dancing again. Lucy and Charlie Brown watched from the side of the stage. Isn't it a great play? Lucy asked. It's all wrong, Charlie Brown told her. Let's face it, we all know that Christmas is a big commercial racket, Lucy said. But Charlie Brown was determined. Well, this is one play that's not going to be commercial. And look at all that is happening there. They look adorable. I love how annoyed Charlie Brown is. You see his little face there? Okay. Let's see what happens when he comes out. What do you want? Lucy asked. The proper mood. Charlie Brown responded, we need a Christmas tree. Lucy thought this was a great idea. A great big shiny aluminum Christmas tree. That's it. I'll take Linus with me, said Charlie Brown. The rest of you practice your lines. And there they go. It looks really cute. These drawings are really pretty, aren't they? Let's see, Charlie Brown and Linus made their way through the snow to the Christmas tree lot. There were trees in all sizes and colors, big, bigger, pink and purple and red. They were all made of metal or plastic. Gee, do they still have wood and Christmas trees? Linus wondered. They look really pretty, don't they? Those are the ones that we want. Those are the ones that we want. What? What Charlie Brown? He's gonna grab the cutest one. Oh, I have it at home. I wish I had it for this video. Oh well. And that's when Charlie Brown saw it. The perfect Christmas tree. This little green one here seems to need a home, said Charlie Brown. But Linus wasn't so sure. I don't know, Charlie Brown. Remember what Lucy said? This doesn't seem to fit the modern spirit. I don't care, Charlie Brown said. We'll decorate it and it will be just right for our play. Besides, I think it needs me. Look at how cute. I have it at home and it's adorable. It's an adorable decoration. And I would have given that tree some love too. We're back, said Charlie Brown announced, as he and Linus brought the little tree into the auditorium. The other kids couldn't believe what they were seeing. <laughs> this tree was all wrong. You were supposed to get a Good tree, Lucy told Charlie Brown. Can't you even tell a good tree from a poor tree? Everyone laughed and walked away. Everyone except Linus. Because Linus had his back, right? That's what best friends are for. Look at them right there. Tisk, tisk, tisk. They're crazy. They're very crazy. Let's see what he tells us here. Charlie Brown turned to his friend. 
I guess you were right, Linus. I shouldn't have picked this little tree. Everything I do turns into a disaster. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Sure, Charlie Brown. I can tell you what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Sure, Charlie Brown, said Linus. I can tell you what Christmas is all about. Linus walked to the center of the stage. A lone spotlight shone on him as he began to speak. He's about to tell us the most wonderful part of all. Look at that. He was a, Charles Skulls was a brave savage to put this in here. This is what it's all about, my friend. He tells us, and there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. And they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, laying in a manger. And suddenly there was the angel, a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to the God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. Look at how proud he is to deliver that line. Look at how proud he is to deliver that line. It's perfect. There was silence in the auditorium as Linus walked back to Charlie Brown. That's what Christmas is all about, Charlie Brown, he added. Charlie Brown thought about what Linus had said. He picked up the little tree and walked out of the auditorium. That's really cute. Hmm. Charlie Brown looked up at the starry night. Sky. He finally understood the meaning of Christmas. Linus is right. I won't let all this commercialism ruin my Christmas. I'll take this little tree home and decorate it, and I'll show them how it really works in our play. Oh, I love how we looked at the stars outside. It's so cute. Isn't that just the cutest thing ever? Charlie Brown took his tree to a place where he knew there would be a lot of decorations. Snippy's doghouse. He selected a shiny red ornament, but when Charlie Brown put the ornament on the tree, it collapsed. I've killed it, Charlie Brown cried. Everything I touch gets ruined. Oh, look at his little face. Oh, that's just crazy. Um... Well, let's see what happens here, huh? Charlie Brown walked off in despair. A few moments later, the other children arrived. I never thought it was such a bad little tree, Linus said as he wrapped his blanket around its base. It's not bad at all, really. Maybe it just needs a little love. What a supportive man. Look at that. They look the best in there, don't they? Definitely do. my glares. Everyone began taking ornaments off Snoopy's doghouse. Soon the little tree had been transformed into a festive Christmas tree. And there they go, giving the tree some love, just like it needed. And look at that. When Charlie Brown returned, he was stunned. What's going on here? He asked. 
Merry Christmas, Charlie Brown, all the kids' son. Oh, look at that tree. It's perfect, isn't it? Totally perfect. I got the Buchanan singing next. And then everyone began to sing, boom. Even Charlie Brown. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. Joyful love in nations rise, join the volume of the skies. With angelic hosts proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. Amen. Look at how gorgeous. And they all sing to the sky. I bet the North Star is out there singing with them, right? But that is the end. You see that? Oops. Don't want to break the book. The end. I really hope that that story will let you sleep now for a little bit. Okay. Now you're like excited awake. Oh, well, I still think that my work is done here. 